ancient sharks and vampire squids to turtles, insects and marsupials. Here are 16 of the strangest living fossils in the world today. 16. Sandhill Crane now this species of large crane can be found in North America and in the northeastern region of Siberia. The birds are known for their loud blaring calls and for the skillful flying, which has been compared to that of eagles and hawks. That's due in great part to the wingspan, stretching for more than seven and a half feet. Researchers say that among extant bird species, these animals have one of the longest fossil histories. And the oldest fossil of a sandhill crane has been documented at some two and a half million years old. And did you know that a much older fossil of a crane was located in Nebraska that is estimated to be some 10 million years old? But that one is still undetermined as to whether it belonged to this particular genus. 15. Okapi Now this animal has been known by several names, including the forest giraffe and the African unicorn. Now that last one was because it was once considered to be a mythical beast, and that belief persisted until the early 20th century when it was officially documented. Now that's understandable given that they do look like a mashup of a giraffe, a zebra, and an antelope, but they are closely related to giraffes and belong to the same family. Maybe the neck and blue tongue give it away. Now it is thought that the common ancestor of the giraffe and a copy lived around 16 million years ago until the two animals branched off. 14. A mommy rabbit. Now here's an interesting critter. It's found only on two small islands of Japan, and experts call it the world's most primitive rabbit, with dark woolly fur, large curved claws, and ears that are very short compared to other rabbits. Now in fact, you might think you're looking at a larger sized rodent, if you didn't know any better. Or they can weigh more than six pounds. Now it's thought that these rabbits arrived on the Ryukyu Islands upwards of 20 million years ago, and then simply never left. 13. Chevrotain. Now this is also called a mouse deer, but it's not really either, although it is an ungulate, so it is related to deer. But no deer species was ever this tiny. Now there are two species of this one, the African species, which can weigh up to 35 pounds, but the Asian species qualifies as the world's smallest ungulates, weighing just over 17 pounds. And you wouldn't guess it, but they're also great swimmers, able to hold the breath for up to four minutes. Since they are solitary and small enough to hide away, not a whole lot is known about these critters, but experts do tell us these little animals have remained basically unchanged in the fossil record over the past 20 million years or so. 12. Koalas Along with kangaroos, these mellow marsupials represent the most iconic animals found in Australia. Living in the eucalyptus trees where they munch on a diet of leaves, they are renowned for sleeping for up to 20 hours a day. And that lethargy stems from that diet of leaves, which provides very little in the way of nutrition. The animals are found in the myths of indigenous Australians and have been depicted in cave art for millennia. So that would indicate they have been hanging around Oz for quite a while now. Koalas are in the same order as wombats and kangaroos, which includes around 125 marsupial mammals overall. The scientists say the ancestors of these critters eventually branched off into separate lineages, with the koalas possibly the first to do so during the Eocene period some 40 million years ago. 11. Monito del Monte now its name translates from Spanish as Little Monkey of the Mountain, but it's really not a monkey or any other type of primate. And even though it kind of does resemble a rodent, it's not that either. But would you have guessed this critter is actually an ancient marsupial, one that is found only in Argentina and Chile, kind of proving that Australia does not necessarily have a trademark on marsupials. In fact, many experts think that marsupials originated in South America and are the ancestors of those found today in Oz and in North America. Now in the case of the Monito del Monte, researchers think these animals diverged from their Australian counterparts around 46 million years ago. 10. Opossums Now since we just mentioned, the Monito del Monte and marsupials will follow up with some more of those pouched mammals. Opossums are native to North America and are the only marsupials found there. And for the record, possum usually refers to the critters found in Australia. 
uh, technically anyway. Now, these animals are usually thought to have a much scarier appearance than the cousins down under and are often mistaken for oversized rodents. These marsupials originated in South America, as we previously mentioned, then entered North America millions of years ago. But these critters have been around for a long time nonetheless. Experts say around 70 million years or so. 9. Alligator Snapping Turtle Now, if there is one animal on the list that really looks like it traveled back from prehistoric times, it would have to be this reptile. With thick, scaly tails, spiky shells, and fearsome, beak-like jaws, they look like they could be the dinosaurs of the turtle world. In fact, they are often referred to as such. Now, on average, they can weigh nearly 180 pounds with a carapace that can exceed 30 inches, serving to make them one of the world's heaviest freshwater turtles. They're found in the U.S. where they're often linked to the common snapping turtle, although the two species are not closely related. Experts say the animals are capable of living for over 100 years, and they have managed to inhabit North American wetlands for some 90 million years, going virtually unchanged in all that time. 8. Queensland Lungfish Now, as you might have sussed out by that name, this creature is native to Australia, specifically to the Burnett and Mary River systems in the southeastern part of Queensland. It comprises one of the world's six extant species of lungfish. Those animals can grow nearly five feet long and weigh around 100 pounds. And the most distinguishing trait is likely their dorsal lung, which they can use to swallow extra air when they rise to the surface. They typically supplement the oxygen supply this way when the water has become deoxygenated or when the gills are not functioning properly. Fossils of these critters located in New South Wales indicate that this species has remained basically unchanged for at least 100 million years and their fossil record actually extends back some 380 million years. Experts say that these fish are some of the world's oldest living vertebrates. 7. Fig Wasps Did you know that fig wasps and fig trees have a unique symbiotic relationship? The tree provides a home for the insect, and the insect provides pollen so the fruit can ripen. And it turns out they might have existed far longer than anyone thought. In the 1920s, paleontologists found the fossil of a fig wasp dated at around 34 million years old, but it was misidentified as an ant. So in 2010, the fossil was reanalyzed and it was confirmed as that of a pollinator fig wasp, thought to be the oldest one ever found. But then in 2013, a fig wasp fossil was found in Brazil that dated back around 115 million years, meaning that the fig wasp may have actually existed before fig trees appeared. Well, experts are still trying to unravel that mystery, but one thing is for certain, those insects have changed very little over all that time. 6. Pig-Nosed Turtle Now these turtles are unlike any other, and it's not just due to the porcine nose. While that proboscis does resemble a pig's, the turtle's nose can function as a type of snorkel. As the animal stays submerged, the nose pokes above the water's surface and draws in air, and that enables the turtle to better hunt prey in cloudy water since that nose is highly sensitive. But what also makes this critter really unusual are its flippers, something that's normally seen only with marine turtles, not with freshwater species. It's native to Australia and New Guinea, and the animal is the only surviving member of its genus, with a lineage that goes back some 140 million years. 5. Vampire Squid Aside from drawing comparisons to Dracula, this deep-sea cephalopod differs from its fellows in a couple of ways. At depths of 3,000 feet, the environment is so dark that the creature changing its color to evade predators doesn't work. So, unlike their cousins, these squids do not shoot out ink as a defensive measure. Instead, they defend themselves by ejecting a gluey mass of bioluminescent mucus at would-be predators, and they sometimes hit deep-sea remote-operated vehicles as well. The fossil record indicates they've been around for some 165 million years, so maybe they do have the longevity of vampires anyway. 4. Bullhead Shark with the largest specimens growing around five and a half feet long, these are obviously some of the relatively smaller sharks out there. Nine species of this one are recognized, all of them bottom feeders that favor tropical and subtropical waters. Now, an unusual physical trait exhibited in these fish is the presence of small spikes on the dorsal fins. Those spikes are said to carry a toxin 
but this has not been proven one way or the other just yet. However, bullhead sharks appeared during the Jurassic more than 180 million years ago. That much is certain, but many experts think they could be even older than that. 3. Mantis Shrimp There are around 450 species of this animal, which is found in tropical waters around the world. And some species are known for possessing some superpowers that even a Marvel superhero might envy. Did you know that they're sometimes called thumb splitters? And that's because they can inflict some painful cuts if they're not handled properly. Those cuts come courtesy from strong hammer-like claws, which can be used in close quarters combat. And they can throw a fast punch with a speed that's equivalent to a 22 caliber bullet being fired. Now, that extreme speed can generate a shockwave that is powerful enough to kill an attacker and even smash through aquarium glass. They also have one of the most complex visual systems yet found in the animal kingdom, with eyes able to register ultraviolet spectrums far beyond the perception of humans. All that, and they're not thought to have changed over much in the past 400 million years. 2. Crinoids these are marine animals that can be attached to the seafloor by a stalk, some of which can stretch for several meters in length, and that variety is known as sea lilies. When the animals are unstalked, those forms are called feather stars and display some amazing shapes and colors. Classified as echinoderms, these critters are related to sea stars, or starfish, and to sea urchins. And these little beasts have been around for quite a while. With the fossils dated as far back as 490 million years, experts say they could even be older than half a billion years old. They managed to survive the Permian mass extinction some 250 million years ago, and they later diversified into some 600 species that exist today. While these modern-day crinoids are not of the same species or orders of their ancestors, they are still similar enough to consider them as one of the oldest living fossils found on the planet. 1. Velvet Worms So, our number one spot going to some critters many of us would call creepy crawlies, and they have been creeping and crawling about for quite a long time. But calling them Velvet Worms is only half right. That name comes from the soft texture, but they're really creatures known as panarthropods. They have more than 40 pairs of legs, claws, and segmented bodies. To capture prey like insects, they can shoot out a gooey slime which is also fired at predators. Found in tropical zones of the southern hemisphere, fossils dating back around 490 million years bear a striking resemblance to modern-day velvet worms.